Today we're gonna take a look at this. This is a very interesting little product right here. This is the Ember Travel Mug. Now this is the smaller version. They do make a bigger one. And you know what? Looks can be deceiving. I bought this one for myself thinking it's gonna be enough. But in reality, I wish I would have gotten the taller one, which is about this tall, and it can fit a fair amount more liquid in it. But the functionality is gonna be the same, and so I kinda of just wanna talk about this product today. I wanna to test it out, kinda of show how the, the app works right here, because it does have some pretty cool features and just talk about my experience. Is this a product that actually brings you value to your life or is it something that you're gonna use for a couple of months and then forget about and then it ends up someday in a landfill? So anyway, if we look at it, it's really just a couple of parts. You got this charging pad here. It's got two, looks like uh, golden pins here for the charging. The back side has got um, like a non-slip kind of kind of grip, so that's kind of nice. The, the cord is six feet long at least. I have a six foot wingspan, and uh, this is longer than that, so it's pretty nice long cord. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, so that's the charging pad, and then of course this is the interesting part. This is the mug, and the mug, I think it's made out of metal. It seems to be like a powder coated metal. It, it feels nice and strong, robust. I don't see that thing breaking. It's not dishwasher safe, so be careful of that. But of course you can wash it and you do have to wash it. Uh, I find just a, a quick, simple rinse will oftentimes be enough. But if you need to, to wash it out a little bit better than that with a rag or with a sponge, it does also work fine. It charges on the bottom. It's got these golden rings on the bottom. So you can put it any which way that you want onto the charging pad and it's going to be fine. This little fuchsia light down here, by the way, that can be changed in the app how you want. Right now I've got it, as you can see up there, set to fuchsia, and you can change that to different colors. Now, um, while it is heating up or cooling off, it will just kind of breathe or pulsate a white color down here on the LED. And that does bring me to the first point I'd like to mention that I think is kind of a strange, design decision is that they got this here on the bottom. So you're always kind of like when you're using it, looking down, oh, what is the light doing? It would be nicer if it was up here or on the handle or something, but I imagine from an engineering standpoint, it's gonna be hard to put this LED anywhere other than here because in the bottom is where you got everything that you need. That's where you got the charging area, the battery, whatever kind of motherboard is in there. All that technique is gonna be in the bottom. And again, it's like I said, looks can be deceiving because that does all take up about that much room. You don't have that much space in here for liquid. So I do find that a little bit anticlimactic, but it is a pretty cool thing. And it's nice, for example, at work to just have a hot drink specified to your liking the whole time. I just find that for me, if I take, let's say six or eight sips, then it's already gone anyhow. So I really, I would suggest if you're considering this product, get the bigger one for sure. What I'd like to mention that's pretty cool about this is that this has a sensor in there that determines, of course, the temperature because it has to regulate it. And I think it's the same sensor that determines if there's any liquid in here or not. So right now, you can see, it says empty. It's not detecting anything other than just the ambient temperature. But if I would put in some hot water, let's put some coffee in there, then it's gonna turn on automatically. And that is pretty cool. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. I got my little buddy here. This is the DeLonghi Pixie. And we're just going to pull a shot into here and you're going to see that it starts heating once it's got enough liquid inside. Oh, there we go. It even tells me the current temperature, 50 degrees Celsius, 56, Okay, so what we end up with then is 74 degrees. And what's going to now, is this going to pulsate white to let me know that it's cooling down. It's not going to actively heat until it gets below 56, which is the, the set point I have for it. So you can see in the app that it's actually going from right to left to let me know that it's cooling down. 
What I would have liked from an engineering standpoint is for it to have shown, for example, here a blue blinking or breathing light to let you know it's cooling down or like an orange uh, or red light to let you know that it's heating up. Some kind of indicator other than white because that for me is not all that intuitive. But anyway, this is the, the cool thing about it is that it will keep it at the temperature. So if I just let this cool down to 56 degrees Celsius, then that's gonna be right at the temperature that I like and I'll be good to go. And it's gonna keep it at that temperature while I'm drinking. I guess one important thing to mention, you need to keep it here on this charging pad ideally to keep the battery charged up. I've taken this off the charging pad. I brought it to work once without it and it only lasts me about an hour or I think an hour and 15 minutes. So it's really not meant to be taken away from the pad for all too long. It would be nice if the battery life was longer on it, but I think that this is really designed to be used in conjunction with the charging pad pretty much all of the time. Yeah, so anyway, it's a pretty cool product. It turns the heater on automatically when it determines that there's liquid inside and it turns the heater off automatically also once you've drunk up all the liquid. So that's, that's a really cool thing. And again, my advice would be for you guys, if you're considering one of these, get the taller one. Definitely get the taller one. I'm gonna measure out exactly just how many milliliters that we can get in here. All right, so as you can see here, I just cleaned it out, just was a quick rinse and it's turned off automatically. It's back on empty. So that's cool. And now let's go ahead and see how many milliliters of water we can fit in there. Okay, so 200 and 250 milliliters, that is about uh, 10 ounces, just about 10 ounces. It would be nice if it was 12 or 14 ounces, to be honest. Just know, okay, this requires you to have the charging pad for one thing um, and to use it pretty much exclusively on the charging pad. And number two, with this smaller guy, you're going to only get about 10 ounces of water. But with all that being said, I'm kind of curious, what do you guys think about this Ember cup? Is that something interesting for you? Would you use it and in which circumstances? I hope that you liked the video and if so, give it a like. If you thought it sucked, give it a dislike, whatever the case. Until next time, I say arrivederci, fiat and bye now.